Hi everyone. In this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. I just turned on my target device in the PBS environment and for whatever reason it is not loading into Windows. So it contacted the it seems like it contacted the contacted the DHCP server and it got the IP address, but it has some difficulties connecting to the TFTP server. So it stays here on this on the same screen for for a minute let me try to restart and show that to you again okay it says tftp timeout okay so let me restart the machine and try once again uh, okay yeah okay so it got the ip address from the dhcp server when it is trying to connect to tftp server it it is stuck it doesn't move forward okay so there is something wrong with the tftp server so maybe we can go ahead and troubleshoot this problem okay let me log into the pvs server first so this is my pvs server uh, let me connect to the console and see how it goes okay okay we are connected to the farm let me check the status of the pvs server here quickly okay pvs server seems up there are no connections uh, currently connected to the PVS server, so it says zero. When it say, when it shows green check mark, it means that uh, the server is up. But uh, something seems to be down. That's why we are not able to, uh, you know, connect to the TFTP server. Let's do one thing. Let's quickly check the services on this particular server and see how it goes. Okay, so these are the services on the PVS server. So, okay, so let's give okay. Citrix PVS SOAP server is good. Let's scroll down, scroll down. Okay, what is this software protection? Okay, let's turn it on. And if you see here, okay, let me go back. If you see here, seems like uh, Citrix PVS TFTP service is in down state. Maybe that could be the reason why these target devices are not able to uh, boot properly. So it seems to be in stop state. Let us try to start the TFTP service. Okay. Seems like it is started. Let me just cross check once. Okay. All the automatic services are up now. Okay. Software production is in uh, stop state. Okay. Let me start this. Uh, okay. Looks like all automatic services are in running state now. Let's do one thing. Let's quickly restart this machine and see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to restart. Okay. It seems like it is turning on. You see, seems like the machine is turning on just now. It is trying to load into windows. So this is happening because we have started the TFTP service on the PVS server. So right after we started this uh, PVS TFTP service, the machine is trying to boot up. Okay, let's see whether we can load into Windows or not. Okay, it's trying to gather the details. So this is the name of my video disk. It is uh, Windows 2012, 2K12 new dot one so this is the VDisk name Okay, once it loads into Windows, then uh, then we can uh, stop the troubleshooting. Okay, I think we are going to the uh, Windows login screen. All right, let me log in and just see how it goes. So this is the target device one. All right. All right. So 
we logged in successfully on the target device and uh, the issue has been resolved so the problem being on the uh, previous server that tftp service was in stop state for whatever reason that's why when we try to boot the uh, target device when we when we try to boot the target device in the first one minute and the first 60 seconds of the video it was showing tftp timeout something like that so it was giving an indication that something is wrong with the tftp server then the best way to troubleshoot these kind of issues is just go to the services on the previous server make sure that the tftp service is up and running if it is in stop state start it if it is already started just try to restart and see how it goes okay i hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions you can leave a comment thank you